Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we're working on page seven, page seven. So page seven has a simple pocket design. It is four and a half, four and a half by nine. You're gonna score th a half inch on three sides. And this is going to be applied to the bottom of page seven. And the main design paper is from and these always remind me of like a sundial. I don't think that's what it is, but that's what it reminds me of. Um, from the 8x8 collection pack. Okay, let's see. What's the orientation? That's it. Okay. So again, this is just going to be installed flush. <laughs> that's Nala. She's everywhere. She's worse than a cat. She sheds so much. Good grief. Sorry, I'm just double checking I had it the right side up. And I do. Can't check too often. All right, there we go. This is the top, this is the bottom. And I'm just gonna dry fit this real quick, but I think it's ready to go. Yes, it is. This page is super fast um, for me because I did some of it offline. So it's gonna go really quick in the video, but you'll need to um, double your time because you're gonna do some inserts here. And I'll show you those and I'll also share with you my measurements for those. But really it could be anything, right? Your inserts could be any size you want as long as it fits in the pocket. So when you have a pocket like this um, and you have and it's a page split where the, it faces another page, one and two are the exception to that, right? Page one opens to the inside liner and page two to the back, I mean page eight to the back. Anyways, this is uh, page six and seven. They're going to be opposing each other. One of the ways to create that um, unification and design flow if you can't do it with the major pieces, is you can do it with your inserts. And I'm gonna show you um, just what I had decided to do that to create that flow between the two pages. And I did something similar on page two and three. So I created these two inserts, and I can tell you what the size they are, and it was really based on the scraps that I had. Um, this is six and three quarters by four, six and three quarters by four. This is a three quarter inch um, strip, and then this is just a coordinating border strip. So, I mean, you could do this one instead. Um, they're about the same size. It just needs to be relatively small. So I did two of these, and I covered only the front, since I still have a, a, a little bit more to go before I'm finished. I don't want to cover the back of my inserts until I'm sure I've got enough paper uh, to finish the rest of the major page designs. So this is going to sit side by side with this. And so you can see how I've pulled the flowers back in on this side, even though it wasn't done through this paper. So that was kind of the design direction that I was going in. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this page. So page six, page seven, I'll be back soon to finish up the album.